still a little bit of a headwind for the sprinters and uh, will be the same for the men here. That's Smelling who won this last time out on the outside. Then Stephen Muller having a very good season. The uh, German athlete in lane seven, new German champion. De Salu, Italian champion. Now, uh, I, those of you who listen to me regularly, uh, when he's running personal best in Le Show de Fond, you'll know what that means. We sort of disregard it a little bit because it's uh, just about at altitude. There's Maslach, 400 meter specialist, running in the 200. Now, Fahl is the man, if you're watching yesterday, his, he stood on the line, got his team disqualified, lost 12 points in the relay. Richard Kilty going in the 200, not the one under the 200 where he's been performing very well so far this season. Well, that the second. Cadastal of Sweden will be in lane three, and then right on the inside will be Garcia of Spain. So, Richard Kilty then, and uh, Maslak kind of uh, from 60 meter specialist up to a 400 meter specialist coming together in this 200 meters but Fal the Frenchman will be one to watch as indeed I think will be Dessalu and Muller Maslak might not quite have the pace he's been running lots of 200s this year though Maslak has not run a 400 since early June there he is we'll be seeing him I'm pretty sure in the 4x4 for Czech Republic they probably will need him they need the points to try and avoid relegation. So Kilty in four. Foul, very dangerous Frenchman, the French champion of the 200. Actually, he was disqualified in the 100 in there. Championships, but safely away this time. Not a good start from the tall Frenchman. Kilty, as expected, gets out very quick and very hard. And now the Frenchman starting to hold him around that top end. It's going to be Fahl and Kilty together. And then De Salu of Italy coming, and so is the German. Muller finishing very, very quickly. Fahl's beginning to falter. Kilty's right there. Does he get it? Yes! Richard Kilty holds his hamstring. Hopefully just cramp because he was pulling with every sinew, as they all were, in that last 10 metres. And that's like a marathon, you know, for Richard Kilty. No wonder he might have a little bit of crap there. Let's hope it's nothing more serious than that. But that's an excellent win, and perhaps slightly unexpected. He was, I think, Colin, you would say he was, he should, your know, top two or three, well, could he win it? Well, he did, just. What a tremendous performance. And th this is what you say, it's, it was a good competition, wasn't it? Richard Kilty got out hard. He knew everybody outside him was going to be his main threat. And even at this stage here, when you think to yourself, well, he could have gone a little bit tighter here because he really didn't go past the Frenchman outside him. He worked well into the final 60 metres of this. And he could see and feel everybody coming towards him, but he was never going to give up. The Frenchman, he got tight. The Italian didn't have enough when it really mattered. And look at Richard Kilty pushing all the way to that line. That's a great, gritty run by them. Really pleased they managed to hang on. I'm really, Steve, I'm hoping that hamstring is not an injury for him because this is a really tremendous performance. Into that headwind yet again. Watch him head on. Knows of the pressure around. All talent, left, right and centre and he managed to hang on, look at that. <laughs> Do you know, if you look at his leaning technique, he deliberately turned there to get his torso almost ahead of his head, didn't he? Yeah. He, you were good at that sort of thing. I can manage to do that, yeah, he rotated a little bit, and I'm hoping that rotation didn't cause him that little problem in the end, but 12 points for Britain, well done, Richard Kilty. Yeah, Italy just about keeping pace with Great Britain as well, France, uh, decent points, although I'm sure Fowl will be well, after being disqualified in the relay yesterday, he would have loved to have got maximum points, but it's Great Britain winning the men's 200 metres. So two good events there, 11 points in the women's race, 12 points in the men's.